The movie industry can be dangerous for aspiring filmmakers. Even well-established companies can't be guaranteed good results after a film is released. For example, even the Walt Disney Company has released movies that have tanked at the box office, like Treasure Planet, Fantasia, and The Iron Giant. This can make releasing a good film a daunting task for everyone involved in the project. Usually, hiring famous actors can help a lot, and of course, good advertising is a must. Still, there are many factors that can cause a movie to bomb at the box office. The term box office bomb refers to the unfortunate situation when a newly released film fails to earn money for the company that produced it, although it can sometimes simply refer to a movie that didn't earn a lot of money even if it technically broke even. This might be more likely to occur in situations where the film's budget was insanely high. Poor timing can also lead to a flop at the theaters. For example, Disney released the film Treasure Planet just a few weeks after Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The second Harry Potter film was so popular that not many people felt like going to watch the latest Disney movie, and it has since become one of the more underrated films from the company. While many box office bombs remain undiscovered, some true pieces of art were eventually picked up by curious passersby in the old days of Blockbuster. When people started to realize that certain box office bombs were actually good, they immediately made all their friends and family watch them too. This is how many cult classics were born. While we've surely lost many great films to time and a poor performance at the theaters, many masterful movies have been rediscovered and given the attention they deserve. In today's video, we're going to look at eight films that tanked at the box office but later became cult classics. While most of the films on this list bombs because the actors or companies weren't well known, this wasn't always the case. Make sure you stick around to find out which iconic movie featuring two A-list celebrities originally bombed at the box office. Donnie Darko Donnie Darko was released in theaters on October 26, 2001. The film barely earned enough to break even with its production budget. A large reason why it didn't perform well is likely because it was released very soon after 9-11. American citizens were shaken, and it probably discouraged a lot of them from going out to watch the latest sci-fi thriller. This Halloween-themed movie is more of a psychological thriller than a classic horror, but it has gained a cult following akin to many classic horror films. It starred Jake Gyllenhaal, and while the film didn't have a great reception initially, fans later agreed Donnie Darko was his breakthrough film. Maybe the world just wasn't ready for the twisted psychological mind games present throughout the film when it was released. Today, however, it's become incredibly popular, and it even inspired a sequel as well as a stage adaptation. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory Today, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is considered a classic, beloved by adults and children alike. Based on the Roald Dahl novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the film was released in 1971 and featured the wonderful actor Gene Wilder. However, not only did it perform poorly at the box office, but it failed to capture the positive attention of critics. Gene Siskel described the film as barely acceptable, and even the New York Times cruelly reported it to be tedious and stagey. The film was produced by Paramount Pictures, who relinquished its rights in 1977 because it only managed to earn a third of what it cost to make. Warner Brothers, however, saw the value in the film and purchased it for $550,000, desperately cheap considering the film cost $3 million to produce. Warner Brothers used their marketing expertise to air it on television, and before long the nation realized just how wonderful Willy Wonka truly was. Office Space the quirky comedy Office Space was released in theaters in 1999. The film barely broke even, and it hardly left a mark on the world until it was released to video. Many viewers found the poster confusing, and advertisements unfortunately made it seem boring. After its disappointing run in the theater, the movie was repeatedly aired on TV a few years later, bringing in more audience members that would soon fall in love with the hilarious film. Before long, many snippets of dialogue became essential parts of everyday conversation, and the movie even led to the birth of a few early memes, some of which are used today. Office Space also eventually inspired the creation of the beloved sitcom The Office, although the two are very different from one another. The Shawshank Redemption Most people are shocked to learn that The Shawshank Redemption bombed at the box office. After all, it stars both Morgan Freeman and Tim Robbins, and is based on a Stephen King novel. However, it performed terribly in theaters, running number 9 the weekend it was released. 
It only earned $16 million in theaters, but the film cost $25 million to make. Unfortunately, both Forrest Gump and Pulp Fiction were in theaters at the time, and The Shawshank Redemption had a lot of competition. Furthermore, movies about prison life weren't popular at the time, making it a risky move. Thankfully, film critics saw the genius in the movie, and it was nominated for seven Academy Awards. Today, it's ranked number one on IMDb's poll of the greatest films ever made. If you think the Shawshank Redemption's box office bomb was surprising, you're in for an even bigger shock. Make sure you stick around until the end, where we'll reveal which of the most iconic films in American history was a disaster at the box office. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. Clue the 1985 film Clue has earned the well-deserved reputation of being one of the most legendary films of all time. However, it was half a million dollars short of its budget after it was released in theaters. It wasn't until the 90s, however, that Clue found its way into the hearts of its audience members. Surprisingly, the board game was far more popular than the film at the time, and young children who loved the game were delighted to discover it was also a movie. The younger generation actually ended up discovering the true genius of the movie, and before long, it was all anyone could talk about. The fact that the movie was played across many TV channels also helped it to reach a wider audience. The rebirth of the movie surprised the actors, and star Tim Curry even described its resurgence in popularity as a bit of deja vu. Blade Runner Shockingly, the iconic 1982 film Blade Runner absolutely tanked after its release. This came as a huge surprise to many of the people involved in the making of the movie, especially since Harrison Ford was a household name from his work in Star Wars. It failed to break even at the box office, and critics complained it was too slow and boring to be captivating. However, after a few years, the film gained more acclaim from audience members. According to The Guardian, it's the best science fiction film ever made, and it had a huge impact on other films in the genre. In fact, its influence ended up playing a huge part in the science fiction films we know and love today. It became so popular, it even earned a sequel in 2017, Blade Runner 2049. Heathers Heathers was released in 1989, but the high school satire film didn't strike a chord with many. Likely, people didn't realize the film was satirical, and thought it was just another rom-com about high school. Sadly, the movie didn't even make half of its budget while it was in theaters. After it was released to home video, however, it grew in popularity. Today, its popularity has soared even more. It inspired a musical of the same name as well as a TV adaptation. Heathers is just one of those precious gems of a movie which provides that sometimes a good thing is worth waiting for. The world may not have been ready for the movie when it was first made, but it certainly is now. The Wizard of Oz This wonderful film has gone down in history as one of the most iconic cinematic masterpieces ever created. However, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer lost $1.1 million after the film was released. Part of this is owed to the film's insane budget of $3 million, which is roughly equivalent to $56 billion today. It was originally described as being a dismal failure by the producers, although they were aware fantasy films are always high risk. Today, we can't be thankful enough the creators took that risk, because The Wizard of Oz ended up being one of the most beloved and influential films in history. Were you more shocked to learn that The Shawshank Redemption bombed at the box office, or The Wizard of Oz? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Factsverse for more.